Carolina Arranibar Fernandez was born and raised in La Paz, Bolivia, and currently lives and works in Arizona. Her practice addresses geopolitical concerns of exploitation as it relates to natural resource control and the invisible labor that supplies global trade. Drawing references from myths and oral storytelling, her work interweaves textiles, video, ceramics, to create multimedia installations that explore historical and contemporary forms of labor. And she is currently the resident artist for the Binational Arts Residency, Carolina Arraniba Fernandez. We're in a very crucial moment right now. We either continue to work with the system and the system that has been like in education, in work, in projects, that it's about only benefiting some. It's about power and corporations. It's about production and money. So how can we like remake systems and think of new ways, new models where we decenter without necessarily centering. A lot of my practice is focused on the coloniality of power. We live in a place where coloniality of power has existed for so long. So how can we start like thinking of new ways? I was born and raised in the coordinates that we called Bolivia today. For many, many hundreds of years, we have a lot of political movements resistance, marches, riots happening every day. I was very young when this event happened and it's called La Guerra del Agua and it's the war on water. The war on water was one of the first public uprisings that I remember. It was the moment when the water of a city was being privatized by a multinational corporation where the water prices because it was being privatized, dams were going to be built, rise up to 300 percent so local people couldn't afford it anymore in the consensus it also says that the water from the rain was going to be charged so it was the moment where i was like how is that possible i was really young and i was like how like a company from really far away can own things here it was like the first moments i started to ask these questions about privatization and how so far nations can own other resources and lands. A lot of my practice, like the process is way longer than the actual piece. I think it maps a lot. So I'm gonna have uh, a video projection here and then each lad is gonna have that piece of blanket and then the braids are gonna come out. I wanna have the conversation between the wall and the land. Resources is a big part of it. The fabrics in between the blankets are going to be basically dyed with extracted resources from these different places that are in conflict and have been. What does it mean to hand the blankets and have them on? But also, what does it mean to create a space of that when we're very privileged? And I think when you're putting bodies in it, you're also exposing to the conversation of like, it's actually like an experience. Blanket. So how can we have a conversation of like, yeah, like we're making work that doesn't necessarily is an investment in a monetary way. I feel that everything's coming together. I'm really excited to see everyone here. I had so much help and support. I had help from people from Douglas. Border Arts Corridor has been the biggest collaborator, has been a supporter. Jenny Sanchez and Martina, they've been on all the time. From this side, mostly we've had help with the fire department, the police department. The neighbors here have been really helpful. The elders say, if you have a pain, just braid your hair so it doesn't go through your body. So I was thinking a lot about like the border fence itself and how it's very rigid and solid. It feels like very phallic. I wanted to disrupt that with braiding. And in the middle of the braid, we did some sewing. This like very opposite practice that is, involves women, involves healing, involves not passing the pain through the body. 
body, but also like the body as the land. So thinking about the body, not only our like bodies, but the larger body that is like the earth, so, you know? How all these materials that I'm using are extracted from the earth and like braiding them so like, the, the paint doesn't continue to go to our bodies or the body that is the earth. Me, Laura and Marta are the people who are braiding. I hope that it feels good for them. I hope it feels like a process where they can find also a rhythm. The process of it was, um, it was soothing, um, but it did require patience and concentration. The metal, it's so strong. The crude oil, the coca leaves, they have very dense energies, but with the braiding, I think we, we healed a little bit of that and we also gave it a softer um, energy. I hope that people ask questions in themselves. Like, I think it's a, it's a project where it's like both like a criticism to uh, extraction, labor, displacement, but also like it has like a healing part. So what does it mean to have both together? My work is really focused on like the labor of women, the physical labor, the invisible labor, but also how if we're a few women, we can really make things happen and the support of each other. And that women work, like the feminine energy is not hierarchical, but rather like horizontal. What does it mean having three women in braiding? together. I think it's like building together, weaving together. So braiding together is like building a support, building a space. It felt like a lot of energy that was building to something and it continues to be building. At some point when the border patrol started going in, I felt it in my core. So it was like a lot of emotions. I felt like tied up and I just wanted to sing louder. Honestly, I felt safe. It felt like these women, we were really together in this. I think the three of us were in their own space doing it, but at the same time, it felt like we could communicate. You're not doing this by yourself. Like this, there is like these two wonderful women next to you also doing from like, different places and different generations but also it was like there's these two other women but there's so many other women that are part of this and like literally part of this as collaborators and things but also non literally that they're all over the place like that we're working together. We're